Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about the Bertrand box paradox, which is sort of essentially just a um, essentially a kind of kind of a toy problem that um, that helps people understand uh, Bayes' theorem. So basically, the formulation for that problem is uh, we have three boxes a box with two gold coins, a box with a gold and a silver coin, and a box with two silver coins. Obviously the probability of choosing each box is one third, because we got three boxes, and yeah, it's one out of three. And now the setup for this problem is we've chosen a gold coin from a random box. We don't know which box it is, but we opened it up and picked out a gold coin, and we can't see the other one inside of it. Now what's the probability that the next coin we choose from that same box is also gold? Basically what we're trying to do here is figure out what the probability of having picked this box is given that we already drew a gold coin. And, and now this D here is what's uh, sometimes called the prior. This is the extra piece of information that changes this from a regular probability question to a conditional probability question. So given this, what's the probability of this? And now, like I said, we're gonna be using Bayes' theorem. And uh, let's write that here. So Bayes' theorem. And you can, you can formulate Bayes' theorem like this. You've got two events, A and B and we want to know the probability of A given B. And that's going to be the probability of B given A times the probability of A divided by the probability of B given A times the probability of A. So just kind of repeating this, uh, this thing in the numerator and uh, putting it on in the denominator, and then adding in the probability of B given the complement of A, and then multiplying that by the complement of A. So basically what this means is the probability of B given A, our event A, times the probability of A, and then we're adding on the probabil probability of B given all other events besides A, times the probability of all other events besides A. And now when we apply that to our problem, uh, the uh, Bertrand's box paradox, we're going to phrase this uh, like this. What is the probability of um, choosing the box with two gold coins given that we've already seen one gold coin? So this is kind of our stand-in for B, event B. This is our stand-in for event A. Maybe I should have switched those around because you know A comes before B in the alphabet, but this is our uh, our prior, so it technically happened first. But uh, you know we'll hang in there. Um, so let's re let's write this second component up top, and remember we're just going to take these events and switch them. So what's the probability of seeing a gold coin given gold gold, and then multiply that by the probability of um, gold gold. And then down here, remember our, our first one's just gonna kind of be a repeat, or exactly be a repeat. There we go. And now, remember, we, we did the complement of A. So what's the complement of gold gold? Uh, well, we've got gold silver and silver silver. So here we're going to do the probability of gold given gold silver. And then we're going to add, um, oops, sorry, getting ahead of myself. We're going to multiply that by the probability of gold silver plus the probability of gold given silver silver times the probability of silver silver. All right. So now it's time to kind of think about this a little bit. What is the probability we see a gold coin given that we've chosen the box with two gold coins? 
Well, um, actually, you know what? Let's start off with the easier one. What's the probability we see the box with two gold coins? That's going to be one third. Uh, we wrote that over here. And let's um, let's go ahead and just write the other ones uh, as well. So this one's also D gold gold. And then over here, let's do the gold silver. These are all just going to be one third. Uh, one third. And again, I'm just copying from over here because remember, you know, we've got three boxes. The probability of any one of them is just one out of three. So we've got all that down. Now we need to figure out these conditionals. Intuitively, if our box has two gold coins, what's the probability of drawing another gold, uh, of drawing the first coin and having it be gold? I, I think that's pretty clear that's just a one because there's no other option there. Uh, if your box has only gold coins, you're only ever going to draw a gold coin. And over here, we've got a gold and a silver, so the probability of your first coin being a gold coin is one half, because you could draw a silver or a gold first. And then over here, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be, sorry, it's going to be a zero, because if you have two silver coins, uh, there's no chance of having a gold coin be the first that you draw. So let's simplify this down a little bit. One third plus one sixth. And that's going to give us... Okay, you're going to get uh, three over six, which is one half. And then this is going to give you two thirds. So there you go. The way to solve the Bertrand's box paradox is by using Bayes' theorem and uh, figuring out that conditional probability by kind of just plugging in your values, using your intuition about these uh, conditional probabilities, and that will get you to this answer. All right, thank you.